I want to also share with you some other news. And that news is both good and bad, depending on your perspective, I guess. Um, as a part of a family announcement sort of situation, uh, my wife and I have been leading this church for 16 years, and we came to Lafayette to pursue a dream that I had of doing this job, leading a, a brand new church, starting something brand new. But in the last uh, few months, in the last summer, God has given us an opportunity for Jen to follow a dream that we didn't even know we had until recently. Uh, she was offered a position as a professor of computer science at Taylor University, where my kids go. And um, it just seems like even though it's a risk of faith, and a thing that scares us in a lot of ways. God is opening the door and making this an opportunity for us that we really kind of think we need to do. So she's accepted the job, and we're going to be moving at the end of December, the last week of December. So what that means is this church is going to be going through a time of transition, even as much as our family is going to be going through a time of transition. And it's one of the main reasons I wanted to make today a day that focuses entirely and completely on relying on Jesus, who he is, and what he's done for us. Even though our family started the church, this church has never been about us entirely. I know some people have come in and left depending on whether they liked me or not, but the true heart of the church has always been whether or not people wanted to share in this vision of reaching people with a simple message of Jesus that didn't have all of the other overhead of other Christianity-ish kind of things. And so we think that that mission is still the mission of this church, and we're still excited about it. The leaders of this church have known about it for a number of months. We've been planning. We've been preparing. It's just broken Jen and my heart to not be able to tell you and let you be in on it, but to protect her job here in Lafayette for this period of time, we've needed to keep it kind of under wraps. And so we're telling you today, and we have two full months that we're going to be hanging around. My last Sunday preaching will be the first Sunday in January. But then in January, the elders have already asked me to be on call to come out here for music and to help with the transition of the church doing some of the music as they find other people to come in and do some of the teaching. So I know that's going to raise some questions for us, and I'm certain that you have some, and that's the other reason we wanted to make sure we had a question and answer time today. 